Hey guys, today's the day. We're gonna break down a 120 gallon tank. All this live rock and sand will be coming out. The last of the fish will be going into the 230. But before we do that, we gotta make some coffee. We need some energy. Here we go guys, my local uh, coffee shop always makes the best chai tea lattes, but they spell my name wrong on the cup though, it's like Yeti, I don't know anyone named Yeti, it's not even close to Joey, anyways, I'll drink it nonetheless, but back to the tank, so I'll talk about the plans for today, uh, we're going to break down all the live rock and sand, like I said, all the livestock will be going into the uh, 230 gallon. Oh, look at that rare catfish over there. And then, once I get all the live rock uh, broken down, I might need to keep a few pieces in there, like this piece that has the uh, mushrooms on there. But then I'll go through a, a dipping process of all the corals that are um, somehow miraculously still alive. Um, my purple stylo completely dead now, so I'm not really sure what happened there. It survived all different kinds of, of ups and downs, and then all of a sudden it decided to check out. No idea why, but that's the plan, so let's get started. One of the first things we gotta do is drain out some water in the tank. So as you can see now, got a little uh, pump in there, drain down, we'll drain 40 gallons into here. This takes forever, because that pump is so small. Um, one thing I forgot to mention as well is I'll be taking the gyres off too, cleaning those, and then they'll go into the 230 gallon as well. Alright, uh, so all the fish and the two shrimps are now into the new tank. It's starting to look uh, pretty busy in there, which is great. We got Hank up over there, added peaches, so we added, that is a uh, lettuce, wrasse, uh, flame angel, asshole, uh, peaches, and then we have uh, a couple of diamond spot gobies in there as well. There's one right there. This is the bigger one of the two. Yeah, he's he's pretty pissed, but um, Gobi is Gobi's a pretty moody, and I don't feel bad for these guys because all they do is cause trouble in your tank. So don't ever pity a Gobi. Moving back towards this tank. So right now there's still a couple things mounted to these rocks. So this is one big structure. Uh, this is holding mushrooms and uh, those dead candy canes, basically. Uh, then we have this rock up here is holding the anemone. If I can get the anemone off today, then I will add it to the tank. Um, and then this rock is just holding my chalices. And then in the reflection there, you have my uh, little Zoa garden rock thing. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys. So, a while back... I'm looking in the tank and you know I had the arch structure right here and I see what kind of looks like some needles inside one of the rocks and I'm like what the hell is that so uh, eventually I was able to to see it a little bit better when it kind of moved out of the rocks and it was an urchin but I could never really see it fully so I didn't know like what kind of urchin it was and to that date I never added an urchin in this tank the ones I actually added are the the black urchins I don't know if they're if those are called tuxedo I would assume a tuxedo has some kind of white these are just solid black so I have one in the display 
and one in the sump. Those were the urchins I added intentionally. Now, what I found back here is this guy. So I know you can't see him very well because it's, it's crappy. Um, I'll kind of, let's see if we can put you inside the tank and if we can get a better view of this guy. There he is. Sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little shaky here because my arms are over the tank. And I've called this guy since I saw him a little greasy because he got into the tank. Now, I don't know anything about this guy. I don't know if this guy's gonna freaking kill me or he's killing my corals. I don't know what this guy is. I don't know if he eats coralline, does he eat detritus, does he bore into the rocks, is he one of the rock boring urchins? I, I have no idea. So I am not going to add this guy to the 230 unless explicitly uh, stated otherwise by someone. I'll have to post up a, a picture on Instagram of that guy and uh, my Facebook group and, and see if I can get an ID because um, I have no idea what that is. So anyways, I also have to do a little bit of research on, on some of this stuff. I don't know if I can dip some of this stuff in bear, so just quick a uh, little search on that. Uh, next steps for me is to uh, start removing this stuff. The stuff on the rock work, uh, this, this stuff will be easy. I could pop those Duncans off and I could pop that uh, nice hammer off. That's really my nicest, probably my nicest two pieces in the tank. I mean, aside from, I mean, my Interstellar is awesome. That thing looks amazing. This torch has a lot of potential. That frog spawn had potential, but it's, it's kind of checking out on me, I think, because of transition. You know, I like this basic brain too. That, that's pretty nice. And my two chalices, I like those. But I mean, I think these are kind of my, my main main pieces and the ones I've seen the, the most growth on. I mean, when I got this one, I won that one from Worldwide Corals uh, Black Friday sale in, in late 2017, of course. And uh, it was just one head. You can watch my video on that uh, if you want to see all the stuff I got for free. Uh, I'm, I'm the Iron Man, Iron Man champion. So what that means is I don't have a life. So you can go ahead and check that out. And I think, I don't remember where I got this hammer. Where'd I get that? I think I got that way, way back as one of my first orders. Um, I think that might've came from Shipwreck Cove Corals or something. Something like that. Anyways, starting to ramble. Task at hand, do some Googles, find out what the hell Little Greasy's all about and what his freaking motives are for coming in this tank. Dip everything. I'll go ahead and I'll set the station up and we can talk about what I'm doing, what the plan is for, for this tank moving forward uh, with all the corals. So you guys missed the uh, the first round of, of dips. This is the second rinse chamber that I have. Um, and yeah, I forgot to, to start recording. So now we have some other corals in here. This is the bear dip. Then we have rinse one and rinse two. So I'll just show you real quick. And then as part of uh, dipping these, I'm also going ahead after the, the 15 or 20 minutes or so that these are sitting in here. Then I go ahead and I blast them a little bit and then I scrape them down and put them in here. <clears throat> and I can explain the plan once we get everything back into the tank. So I just wanna show you real quick uh, how I kinda of do this. We're just gonna pour it in. I like to make everything I do like a very exact science, so you just want to dump it in until it feels right. And that's the scientific term. It's a scientific uh, unit of measurement. We're gonna turkey baste it, get everything mixed up around in there. This is euphelia and then a brain coral. So it about looks like some milk, um, crappy milk, but that's what I'm looking for. I'll let this sit in here for 15 minutes and then I'll scrape and then rinse them.
Real quick, I want to show you guys something that's a little bit weird and a little depressing right now. It's been, uh, I don't know how long since I added these guys into the tank, um, but it has to be around, I don't know, an hour and a half or two hours or so. And within the first uh, couple minutes, this guy was swimming around great. And uh, since then, he's been kind of hanging back here and, and just kind of on the sand. Um, He's not breathing incredibly rapidly. Uh, I'd say it's somewhat normal. Uh, I've had fish that you know are breathing rapidly, so I wouldn't say he is. Um, kind of looks like he is actually now. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what's up with this guy. Everyone else that I've added to this tank has, has done fine, so I'm not sure what's going on with him, but I'm really hoping that he pulls through one, because I don't want any of my fish to die, and, um, you know, he's, he's a really nice fish. Uh, this, the Latinatus uh, wrasses are really nice. I love all my wrasses. All the fairy wrasses, I have a ton more on my wish list, and I would hate to lose this guy and have to acquire another one, because um, that just seems like a, a waste of... of of fish, he should last me many, many years. And not to mention, he's also like two hundred fifty dollars. So I don't really want to pay two hundred fifty dollars for a fish again. Well, I will eventually, but not for one I already have that should stay alive for, you know, ten years. I'll update you guys on, on that. Okay, it's the next day now, and here's all the corals in the tank. Everything's looking all right, um, as good as you expect. This is the aftermath of what's left over that I didn't feel like scooping out. All the detritus, a little pile of sand. Um, what else do we have right here? I don't know what that is. Never seen that before. Some kind of worm. Looks like maybe a bristle worm or something. It's not moving. Here's another good shot, a little greasy. Uh, that's some bubble algae on them and also uh, some frog spawn. Uh, some of the frog spawn released from its skeleton and I guess it's taking a ride on him now. So There's also some hermit crabs and I haven't added hermit crabs since I started this tank so they've been alive for like a year and a half or something. Another quick update, as you can see, there is the Latinus, or Latinatus Ras, Hank. Uh, apparently he was just sulking and was just mad that he got moved into a new home. So, he's fine. Back over here, the plan is I'll leave these guys in here till next weekend. Next Saturday, I'll take these guys out and then I'll go and put them in the Nano and they'll be in the nano. Uh, once again, I'll dip them the same way. Uh, this time I might add doing a Coral RX dip as well. So they'll get bare and Coral RX. Scrum down again, try to get as much bubble algae off them as I can. This rock has, that has the mushrooms, that's really the concern for where the bubble algae would come from. And then after a week, I'll take them and put them into the 230. So this tank should be broken down next weekend and out of here. Thank God. One other thing that I'll add. I took off the gyres. They're going into bleach water right now. But let me get down here and show you. So let's look at the controller. So as you can see, port A is set to off. Right? But it's it should be on. Let me let me show you. So, I have it set to on. Click this. And it turns itself off. So, a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, you know, maybe it's a pump issue. So, um, I don't know what pump we have on, one or the other. Either way, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So, I'll prove it to you. take this one off so it just shut off in there so this is the one that was just working 
put that right here. We'll take this one. So, the port that was not working. And I'll try to plug it in here with one hand. So, port B just came on. And the other pump is on. Which again, I don't know which one it is. Take this one, the one that was previously working. And that's now in port A. I also don't understand why Gyre does power and then this is B and that's A. That makes no sense. This should be A and that's B. It's a terrible design. Anyways, so that other one's still off. So let's try to reset it. And there you go. It doesn't work. So, it's not a pump issue. It's got to be a controller issue. So don't come in the comments telling me that it's a pump issue. Like, oh, you gotta clean your pump, check your pump, make sure your pump's all right. That's what everyone wants to say. It's not the freaking pump, it's a controller. So I put in a ticket to, to see if I can get that corrected. But, um, of course, I'm slightly out of warranty. I think it comes with a year warranty. And I got the dryer in late November of 2017. So it's about two months past warranty. So. We'll see if they take care of me, because I don't want to spend $180 on a new controller. So, that's all I have. That's the plan. That's my cat. Actually, one more thing. I added the anemone to the 230. Alright guys, I'll catch you on the next one.